Sports. But first, an NBC Charlotte exclusive. Paramedics racing to an emergency become the patients needing help. A Gaston County ambulance had its lights and sirens blaring when it was involved in a crash. Police say the driver in the other car failed to yield for the ambulance. It's an issue that our defenders team has spotlighted in the past. Drivers not knowing what to do when an emergency vehicle comes up behind them. NBC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner live where this most recent accident happened. Brandon. Well, friends, Sarah, it happens in this far set of lanes right over here, and it's become an issue. We've seen so many of these close calls and now a crash right at this intersection. Ambulances scream down Gastonia's East Long Avenue dozens of times a day. One of them, Unit 891, was heading to an emergency last Tuesday night when the two paramedics inside became the patients. According to this police crash report, Unit 891 had its lights and sirens on as it was heading down Long Avenue, just like this one. Police say a car driving in this lane failed to yield to the ambulance. As they came up on this red light, investigators say the ambulance used this lane to try to go around the car. The report shows as the ambulance entered the intersection and began making a sharp right turn, the traffic light turned green. The driver in that other car began moving. The ambulance crashed into the side of the car. Both paramedics inside suffered injuries. Gasson County EMS's Deputy Chief Jamie McConnell says he can't comment specifically on this crash, but he says in general, drivers don't know what to do when they see an ambulance. They have what we call squirrel moments. They pull left, pull right. They, they continue, they try to speed up. They go through intersections. Something NBC Charlotte saw a year ago this month when we began investigating this issue in Rock Hill. Deputy Chief McConnell and other paramedics say drivers should always move to the right side of the road when it's safe. And if you're stuck at a red light and an ambulance is coming behind you, do not make the situation dangerous by trying to run the red light. And while police faulted the driver for failing to initially yield to the ambulance, police also faulted the ambulance driver for not sufficiently clearing this intersection before entering it. Reporting live in Gastonia, I'm Brandon Goldner, NBC Charlotte.